Hey there, footy fans. Let's have a bit more footy fun with Footy Finn here. And look, uh, Saturday morning, we're in the middle of round 27. Um, we've had three games so far. And look, let's see where we're up to because there are still... Um, uh, there are still uh, the, the position 6, 7, 8 um, and places in the finals are still yet to be decided. So, of course, uh, just a quick recap. On Thursday night, uh, the Broncos were basically fielding their B team at Lang Park. Uh, the Storm were missing a bunch of players too and pretty much uh, were without what's been their spine for most of the season. However, uh, the Storm won. Uh, some impressive tries scored. Um, Ryan Pappenhausen was back um, in his first start for the Storm for this year. And uh, a young fella uh, of Samoan background who grew up in Melbourne by the surname of Fa'alongo scored a couple of impressive tries. One almost length of the field effort that involved uh, combining with Pappenhausen going coast to coast, side to side. Uh, check that out if you haven't, haven't seen it already, excuse me. Um, that young fella's been playing for the Sunshine Coast Falcons in the Queensland Cup. So anyway, the Broncos have not secured the minor premiership at this stage. They are still on top of the table, but if Penrith uh, beat the Cowboys this afternoon, then they'll basically um, win the minor premiership on the back of a better for and against than the Broncos. Um, <clears throat> what else happened? Manly beat the Tigers on Friday night. So that seals the wooden spoon for the Tigers. Uh, commiserations to Tigers fans. And then last night in the clash of um, the Chooks and the Bunnies, the Roosters had a win. The Roosters, uh, I think it was 26-12 in the end. Um, so the Bunnies just couldn't quite do it. It was really uh, a Billy Smith try in about the 71st minute that sort of largely sealed it for the Roosters. So basically the Roosters are in the seventh now, but they're not guaranteed of making the top eight just yet. And I'll run you through the, um, the possibilities there in a minute. Uh, but sadly, uh, Souths are out of contention. Uh, so they're in ninth and they can't finish any better than ninth. Um, so this is, um, this is a real fall from grace, if you will. Of course, they made the grand final and almost won it two years ago. <clears throat> um, and mid-year this season, um, you know, by the time of uh, origin time of year, they were on top, they were on fire, they were the form team. Look, sadly, things haven't been going well and obviously they did miss the suspended Latrell Mitchell the other night as they did in the 2021 Grand Final. Um, so that's disappointing. But anyway, um, RIP Souths, um, they have just signed Cam Murray for another five seasons, their captain. Um, so. Who knows what's in store for them next year. They've, they're also expecting Jack Whiten, of course. Anyway, so let's just run through a couple of things here. How, Cowboys are sitting in 10th, but they can still make it. However, they've got a tough assignment. They're facing Penrith in Penrith this afternoon at 5.30pm. The Panthers are really only missing the injured Jerome Luai. So basically, if the Cowboys lose to Penrith, which let's face it, is quite likely, then the top eight's already decided and it stays as it is with the Roosters and the Raiders staying in the race and into the finals. Um, however, if the Cowboys can win, uh, then the Broncos finish first, their, uh, their Queensland colleagues finish first and so up the minor premiership. So also, and then if the Cowboys win, they will get into the top eight on the back of a better for and against than the Roosters and the Raiders. Um, so the Cowboys would, would be in the seventh in that case. Uh, then the Raiders must win on Sunday afternoon for the Raiders to stay in the finals race. So if the Cowboys win, the Raiders, that puts the Raiders on notice. They've got a win to stay in. 
How could the Roosters still miss the finals? Well, the Roosters could miss the finals if the Cowboys and the Raiders both win. Now, the Raiders are missing players, key players with injuries and suspensions. Um, so they're no guarantee to beat the Sharks. And let me just throw one more at you. The Sharks could still miss the finals. They're sitting in sixth. You'd think that it's just between them and the Knights as to who finished fifth and who finished sixth. But how could the Sharks miss the finals? If the Cowboys win and the Raiders win by 129 points or more. So there you go. What are the chances of that? Bugger all, I would say. Anyway, can't wait. It's hotly contested. Look forward to it. Catch you between the sticks. See ya.